Hi, welcome. We're going to look at inventory and turnover. So take your notes, pen, and calculator so that we do this together. First question says Big Malam Sports and Leisure made the following purchases of the EEF backpack during the year. So this is a table. Now at the end of the year, there were 75 backpacks in inventory. Use the weighted average method to find the inventory value. To solve this, the first step is to find the total cost. Okay. So to find the total cost, let me redraw the table. So I have the table here. To get a total cost, we are going to multiply each quantity by the unit price. Okay. 20 backpacks times 70 cities. That will give you 1,400 cities. 50 times 80 cities should give you 4,000 cities. 100 times 90 cities should give you 9,000 cities. Then 60 times 85 cities should give you 5,100 cities. Then 40 times 75 should give you 3,000. Then after getting all this, we are going to find a total. So when you add everything here together, 1,400 plus 4,000 plus 9,000 plus 5,100 plus 3,000, that will give you 22,500. So this is the total cost, 22,500, okay. You can also find the total packs here. So that will give you 270, okay. Then in step two, we are going to find the average cost. And to get the average cost, the formula for the average cost is total cost divided by the number of units. So since the total cost is 22,500, and the number of units is 270, we substitute them here, okay? So we have 22,500 divided by 270. So when you put this on your calculator, you get 83.33 cities. So 83.33 cities is the average cost, okay? Then after getting the average cost, then you go to the step three. In step three, we are going to multiply the average cost by what remains in stock at the time of valuation? But according to the question, there were 75 backpacks in stock at the time of valuation. So you are going to multiply the average cost by that 75 backpacks. So 83.33 times 75 will give you 6,249.75. So you conclude that the value of inventory at the end of the year is 6,000. 249 cities, 75 pesos. Okay, so this is the answer to this question. And this is saying that determine the value of the 75 backpacks remaining in the inventory of Big Malam Sports and Leisure using the FIFO method. So this time we want to use the FIFO method, not the weighted average method. So to do that, let me redraw the table. Okay, now according to the FIFO method, we must sell out the old stocks before the new one. And when you look at the table, you realize that the beginning inventory is older than the January inventory. And the January one is also older than the March. The March is older than the July. The July is older than the October. So if we are saying there are 75 backpacks left in the stock, then these 75 backpacks should be coming from the latest ones. It shouldn't come from the old ones because we sell out the old ones first. Do you get it? So when you look at this, that should tell you that the 40 backpacks from October are part of the 75 remaining. Um, when you take 40 out of 75, you'll be left with 35. And 35 of the July ones are also part. That's the meaning. So to solve this, this is what you do. Since all the 40 backpacks of October are part of the 75 that remains, you take 40 times 75. So 40 times 75 will give you 3,000. Okay. Then after that, when you deduct this 40 from 75, you'll be left with 35, right? That 35 should also be coming out of this 60. Okay. Meaning out of this 60, 25 were sold out. So left with 35 out of it. Okay, so the 35 that remains, which is part of the July, should also be multiplied by the 85. So 35 times 85 will give you what? That will give you 2,975. Okay, so after getting that, then you add the two together. 
So that will give you 5,975. So this is the value of the remaining inventory using the FIFO method. So you conclude that the value of the remaining inventory using FIFO is 5,975 cities. Okay. Now let me give another example for you to understand this better. If 60 backpacks remains in stock, when you take the first 40 out of the 60, you'll be left to 20. So the next 20 should come from the second latest. Okay. So the remaining 20 should come from this 60. Okay. So for that one, you have to take 20 times 85. So to solve that same question using the LIFO method, let's draw the table again. Now this is the table, right? Now this time around we say last in, first out. This means that we will sell the stock of October before that of July. And then we will sell July before March. And then we will sell that of March before January. And that of January before the beginning inventory. Okay. Since it is last in, first out, then the remaining 75 should come from the top, not from the down like the FIFO. Okay. Now, let's take the first 20 here. Okay. And multiply it by 70. We will get 1004. So when we take 20 out of the 75, we are left with 55, right? Now, the next month is January. And the 55, the remaining 55 is more than this 50. So we can take all this 50 also out of the 55. So we can say 50 times 80. And that will give us 4000. Now, 20 and 50, that's 70. So we are left with 5, isn't it? So the remaining 5 should come from March. Okay. So we just take the 5 times the 90. So 5 times 90 will give you 450. So after that, then you add everything together. So when you add them, you get 5,850. So this is the value of the remaining inventory using the LIFO method. So you conclude that the value of the remaining inventory using LIFO method is 5,000. 850 cities. Question 2 says, Inventory on August 31st was 24,200 cities. During the next four months, the company had purchases of 42,500 cities and net sales of 52,800 cities. Use the gross profit method to estimate the value of inventory on October 31st. If the company uses a markup of 25% on selling price. Look at this. This is August 31st. And this is October 31st. So this is the beginning inventory. August comes before October. We want to find the ending inventory. Okay. So to solve this, now when you look at the question, we know the beginning inventory. We also know the purchases. But we do not know the cost of goods sold. And you know that we need the cost of goods sold to get the value of the ending inventory using the gross profit method. So for us to get the cost of goods sold, this is the formula we are going to use. Cost of goods sold plus markup. You use markup rate times the net sales to get the markup. Okay. Is equal to the net sales. That's the formula. Cost of goods sold plus markup equals net sales. Then we do the substitution. So since cost of goods is C. Let's write it down. Plus, to find the markup, markup should be markup rate times net sales. Okay. And we know the net sales to be 52,800. And the markup rate is 25%. That's 0.25. So that's what we substitute in place of the markup. In bracket, 0.25 times 52,800. Okay. Equals, we know the net sales to be 52,800. So we write it down. Okay. So when you take 0 0.25 times 52,800, you will get 13,200. So that's why you write the equation as C plus 13,200 equals 52,800. So when you group like them by bringing the 13,200 to the side, you have C to be equal to 52,800 minus 13,200. So when you subtract, you get C to be 39,600 cities. So this 39,600 is the cost of goods sold. Okay, so this is how to find the cost of goods sold. So after getting the cost of goods sold, 
So you can now use the procedure to find the ending inventory. So to find the ending inventory, first we write the beginning inventory. Okay. Then we add purchases of 42,500. This is purchases here, 42,500. Okay. When we add them together, we will get 66,700. So this 66,700 is the merchandise available for sale. Okay. Then after getting the merchandise available for sale, then we subtract the cost of goods sold from it. So we less cost of goods sold, which is 39,600. So when we less this 39,600 from it, we'll get 27,100. So the 27,100 is the ending inventory. So you see that this is simple. The what matters is for you to be able to find the cost of goods sold properly. Okay. Some questions can give you the cost of goods sold directly. So you just go straight and do this. So you can conclude that the estimated value of inventory as at 31st October is 27,100 cities. Another formula for finding the cost of goods sold is cost of goods sold is equal to 100 minus markup rate all divided by 100 times the net sales. And that will give you 100 minus the markup rate is 25, isn't it? So you substitute 25 there times the net sales, which is 52,800. So when you put this on your calculator, you get 39,600, which is the same as this. So you can decide to keep this formula. Okay. Question 3. At the Melcom stores, inventory on April 30 was valued at 12,000 cities at cost and 16,000 cities at retail. During the next three months, the company made purchases of 20,000 cities at cost or 40,000 cities at retail and had a total net sales of 42,000 cities. Use the retail method to estimate the value of inventory at retail on 31st July. So to solve this, first we write the beginning inventory at retail, which is the 16,000 here. So we write it down. Beginning inventory at retail, 16,000 sales. Okay. Then we check for the purchases. The purchases is 20,000 sales at cost and 40,000 sales at retail. So be very careful. We are going to add purchases. But we need to add purchases at retail, not at cost, because we are using the retail method. So we add purchases at retail, 40,000. So when we add them together, we get 56,000. So this 56,000 is the merchandise available for sale at retail. Okay. Now, because we are using the retail method, then we subtract the net sales, not the cost of goods sold. Okay. So according to the question, what is the net sales? The net sales is 42,000, isn't it? So let's subtract 42,000 from this 56,000. So when we subtract, we'll get 14,000 cities. So the value of inventory at retail at the end is 14,000 cities. Question 4 says, Determine the value of inventory using the lower cost method. We have the description of the items. We have their quantities. We have the unit price at cost. And then we have the unit price at market value. Okay. So this is how to solve this. Now, in the question, we have the description, the quantity, the unit price at cost, and the unit price at market value. We have these four. Okay. These four things from the question. Here, I draw a new column and I write lower of AC. That's at cost or at market value. Okay. Now, what this means is I'm going to be comparing the cost and the market value. The lower one among them is what I'll write down. So when you compare the cost here and the market value, which one is lower? The 35.5 is lower, so I'll write it down. And then I'll compare this and these two. The 9.97 is lower, so i write it here. When you compare this and this also, the 4.7 is also lower, so you write it down. When you compare this and this also, the 2.34 is lower, so you write it down. When you compare this and this also, the 13.42 is lower. So you write it down also. So after comparing the cost and the market value, then you find the extension by multiplying the quantity by the lower one between them. Okay. 
So 318 times 35.5 will give you this. Okay. Then 73 times 9.97 will give you this also. Then 38 times 4.70 will give you 178.60 also. Going. Okay. So here I'm taking quantity times the lower one to get the extension. So after getting the extension for each, so you add everything together to get the value of inventory using the lower cost method. So you conclude that the value of inventory based on the lower cost method is 13,802.13 cities. So in the part two of this topic, we'll look at how to compute inventory turnover. So it is important you subscribe to the channel and on the notification bell so that whenever we post important videos, you can always see them easily. Thank you.